So let's see what happened to the next few slides. After you figure out the step size h, you s substitute back. You see? So now, like I said, you substitute the value of the step size h, which is negative 0 0.5 you just found. Then you find out the new value of x at iteration i plus 1, and the new value of y at iteration i plus 1, they are equal to minus 1 and 0 respectively. Now notice one thing. You want to minimize the function f. In the beginning, with your initial guess, x naught equal to 2, and the initial guess, y naught equal to 1. The function value that you want to minimize will have the value of 13. After you get to the new solution corresponding to x equal to minus 1 and y equal to 0, the function f that you want to minimize, now the value is 3, which is definitely an improvement compared to the previous iteration. You want to minimize it in the beginning, f equal to 13, now f equal to 3. So you can see substantial improvement already occur even with one iteration. Now let's see what happened after that. Okay? So to see what happened after that, to see what happened after that, let's look at the next few slides. So go to the next slide. Now we say, okay, now we just calculate the new improved solution, which is x equal to minus 1 and y equal to 0. See, this is x equal to minus 1, and this value here, y is equal to 0. Next thing, we go back to say, let's try to calculate the gradient of the objective function again. So here is the gradient with respect to x, the derivative with respect to x. Here is the gradient with respect to y, or the derivative with respect to y. And if you evaluate it at the current location, which is x minus 1 and y 0, so whenever you see x, you replace by minus 1. Whenever you see y, you replace by 0. Then you will see the new gradient will be equal to 0, i, 0, j. See? It is 0, 0. Well, that is an excellent news. You know why? The reason it is an excellent news is because the gradient is equal to 0. And that means you already got the optimum solution. See? Because, as you can see from the theory, the necessary requirement to have the uh, optimum solution is the gradient equal to 0. So when you see your gradient evaluate at your current point, minus 1 and 0, that gradient is 0. That means you got the optimum solution already. Right there. So that means minus 1 and 0 will give you the optimum solution. And the function corresponding value to that will be you replace x by minus 1, you replace x by minus 1, you replace y by 0, and that is the optimum solution. So that basically is the end of the example of the so-called uh, steepest descent or steepest de ascent algorithm. And uh, here is the acknowledgment. More information you can f find it on that website, mathforcollege.com. Thank you.